There's another common one that we see, and unfortunately insurance companies are staying far away from covering this, unfortunately. Um, but some people can just all of a sudden have a little round spot and lose a spot of hair called alopecia, for short. Alopecia areata is the technical term, because it's a little area, the distinct coin-shaped areas, where hair will just fall out of your scalp all of a sudden. Or it can happen in your eyebrow, or it can happen in your eyelashes. So there's localized forms, and there are universal forms, where the patients will have no hair whatsoever. Pubic hair, axillary hair, everything will go away. So you have the universalis type, you have the localized type. Um, there, there are big foundations for this that are set up because, again, uh, we have patient, a young, young girl, teenager trying to find a job, and slowly but surely over a period of months, no hair, has to wear a wig. We try injections, we try topical therapies to try and stimulate the hair growth, even Rogaine and all that kind of stuff. Orally, topically, tough, very, very tough to treat. If you catch it at this stage, just one little patch, you put a little cortisone, very dilute cortisone injection that's there, it doesn't go in your system, it doesn't make your hair or your skin thin and give you diabetes or cataracts or anything like that, so a very dilute amount, uh, it will make it grow back. It shows you one or two injections also. We give them about a month apart and the hair grows back. Here's something you see very common. You see it's a man that they show, of course, over here, because you get even just one little pustule here that has a little bit of staph in it, and you start to shave, boom, you get this folliculitis, inflammation of the hair follicle, and that's what we're talking about. We're about hair follicle diseases now, like we said before, and as soon as you get a little one, it spreads really, really quickly, and sometimes you can treat it with topical antibiotics. Usually we have to give oral antibiotics, and we see this also very, very commonly on the thighs, thighs that rub together, uh, on the buttocks, people that sit a long time at their computers. Um, hippie cleanse over the counter is, is something I recommend very often instead of buying and spending a lot of money on expensive antibiotics. It's a green tube with a red liquid in it, and you just wash yourself with it. Sometimes I use it in the scalp even as a, as a preventive. You know, some people they get it once in a week, seem to be frequent recurs, they just use it once a week. It looks a lot like acne bite. It does, it does. But in the, in the only way you can tell really is by how concentrated it is really in one area and uh, how uniform it is, each one looks like the other, and there are no blackheads. To have acne, you have to see a blackhead. You have to see a plug pore full of keratin. And here you don't, you don't see that, it's just all pustular. So it's a good question. It does look like acne. How would you know the difference? Blackheads. You have to see if it's on even one blackhead to qualify for acne. But if you don't, you don't see any like in this photo over here, then it's just a folliculitis. And it could be a sterile folliculitis. Sometimes your follicles just get upset at some new product, new makeup or something that you, you've used or something, and they'll, they'll postulate just like this. Uh, sometimes we culture it, and we'll find some staph, some strap, E. coli. It's also very common. What's... It, it, perioral dermatitis, you'll get this. This is a pretty intense case uh, where a lot of these little, little micro, mini papules and bustles, it's a type of acne, it's a cousin of acne. It's in the same fa family as we're talking about these hair follicle acne like diseases where mostly women will get it. We think it's a certain product. You know, if you ever look on, on the back of your, your cleansers or your makeups or your shampoos, you have about what? 30 different things that are in there that make that, right? And you can't even spell or read the names properly and all that kind of One of those things is going to be causing a blockage of the pores where this shows up. It's called perioral dermatitis. Uh, oral antibiotics is what we usually have to use. Some people don't want oral antibiotics or can't take oral antibiotics. So liver can't handle it. They're on other medications. So we can treat them topically as well. A little bit of a light cortisone with some um, with a topical clindamycin or erythromycin can help. It takes a long time to treat this away though. It takes a long time. It's a long time coming, it takes a long time. Sometimes two, three months before it goes away. Mm -hmm. 